Him with some winks. What is this? The brilliance behind Cageville's success. 400 views, bro. Am I gonna get? Am I gonna get fucking blasted? Chat, don't link the links in the chat. Link them to me on the Twitch DMs, bro. Should we watch this? I feel like we should watch this. You put effort into it. I don't know, I feel really cringe watching videos about myself, though. My chat is crashed. My chat crashed. Good job. I can't read chat. Stop it! Oh my god, man. This, this chat is ill! Here is one that, on the surface, appears to have been seemingly random and out of nowhere in the last couple of The thing that I don't like about these videos is they, like, they, like, take... A lot of the stream stuff and they're like he knowingly did this so that he could do that and then he knew that he would do this and then like he went to the t1 office and he knew he would get kicked out because he knew that they would make finals and then he knew he would get a stadium slot and then and then it, like all of this like things are all connected in their head apparently it's it's not that deep Years, as I just press start streaming bro. across all mediums, especially in the past few months. And even just a few years ago, Why are you if you showing told that? anyone that this camera shy H2K mid laner would one day rise to the top of league content fame, it would be unlikely they would have believed you or even considered this as a possibility. As after all, Cadrill himself couldn't even anticipate. Oh my god, I didn't know there was that shot of me being depressed as fuck. Or even consider this as a possibility as after all Cadrill himself couldn't even anticipate being in the position he is now considering I mean, that I was for a while during his a professional pro career he considered himself to be in one of his lowest points ever mentally with an uncertain future ahead of him yet the Cadrill of today is now pulling insane viewership across multiple platforms and his content's adaptability well, I just has woke led up, him man. What is that? of millions of league fans across the world like a today I'll be bridging the gap between these two G2 Jersey, what is that? Two very separate paths, as well as breaking down the techniques that Cadrill used to propel himself to gaming startup. Techniques. I suppose there's no better place to begin than by quickly recapping his time in the professional scene. Turning back time to almost nine years ago, Cadrill's humble. <laughs> you didn't have to say nine. Pro play Origins began officially on May 13th, 2015, as he would be announced as the mid laner for Experience Esports Club, a now non existent Spanish esports organization. He would only play for the organization for a couple of months and then bounce around various teams and levels of play until finally landing a spot on <laughs> Shulka and Nolfia in 2017, what is which that? included players such as a young Upset and Norskera and Duo in the bot lane. And along with his teammates, Cadrill helped lift the Shulka organization into the EU LCS through winning promotion matches, concluding with a 3-0 sweep over the team Ninjas and Pajam. Yo, NIP was kind of stacked back then. Profit was good, Shook was good, Nagne was good. That's promise you. I guess their AD carry wasn't that great. Yes, through winning they promotion fisted. matches, concluding with a 3-0 sweep over the team Ninjas in Pajamas. However, Cadrill's most infamous moment would come the very next season following this qualification as, during the offseason, he was slotted as the starting mid laner for H2K, headed into like 2018. I look like such a fucking rat. And perhaps it was the nerves of being on stage or just an unfortunate misinput, but either way, in his very first game on the roster, Cadrill locked in Malzahar, and though he initially seemed to have found a great pick onto the enemy Ezreal, disaster struck. This is the tense moments, Vettius, as we enter the mid-game. 2k gold lead for Vitality. 1-1 one one in the tower is a dragon advantage as well. Ready to take a fight. Flash over. How do you... Just cancelled. Wait. Actually, so embarrassing when you play it that out that long. That was just cancelled it. Though that obviously this blunder of a player needs no real explanation, years later during an interview with the Score Esports, Cadre would later go on to say that this misplay struck deeper than just an inability to lock down the enemy Ezreal. During this time, he recalled having some serious mental struggles, and even though this play wouldn't have been too impactful on the overall game state, it would go on to affect his mental state, which would hamper his ability to perform on a professional level. No longer properly firing on all cylinders, Cadre's gameplay began to slowly deteriorate as a Actually, like... Yeah, I got mentally out of it, and then, for some reason, I said to my coach, I was like, yo, I feel like nothing's happening in the games we're playing, and I'm like, I can't play mid anymore, I'm like, so out of it, I'm gonna leave. Or, or, I'll first time jungle on stage this weekend, and we can get a sub mid laner and see if I can do anything on stage. And then the coach trusted me, he was like, yeah, go jungle, see what happens. I was like, okay, I'll first time jungle on stage, <laughs> and this was me first time in jungle. We played a scrim set against some team and we went 6-0 in scrims with me on jungle. 
And then after that scrim set, they were like, okay, let's try with you jungle and selfie mid. Obviously, I went on stage and went 0 2 and left. Like, of course, we didn't win on stage. But yeah, that's when I knew I was going to roll swap. It's a mid laner, and after an unsuccessful attempt as a starting jungler, he would be moved to the substitute jungler role for the remainder of the split. Over the summer, Cadrill temporarily acted as a starting jungler across different teams, including a brief stint on the aforementioned ninjas in pajamas before finally returning. This was my to weekend, the first time in jungle. As their starter for the rest of the year. <laughs> However, headed into the 2019 season, Cadrill would finally leave H2K for good as he was brought on to be a member of XL, a team he would remain on all the way through the end of 2020. Despite the roster being a bit of a revolving door due to the team's poor performances, Cajun remained as the team's oh starting God. jungler for the course of the next two years and began to come more into his own as a player. Bro, I was smurfing on XL. However, though 2020 would of course be a very notable year for a wide variety of reasons, perhaps the most significant turning point in Cadrill's story was his Bro, beginning you can, both What are you doing, Mark? Variety I can reasons. see your fucking stomach. It's perhaps the what is that hole? The most significant turning point in Cadrill's story was his beginnings as both a caster and content creator during what that, is that year's hole? worlds. Cadrill, like many pros, had always done some content on the side to a small but reasonably sized audience, but crucially, Looking. his transitioning to an analyst after a repeated 7th place finish from Excel would change the output and frequency of his own personal brand and identity. By opting to become an analyst, Cadrill's digital presence shifted away from just being the person who currently played jungle champions on Excel and instead... Oh, was, but, but that game I was mega smurfing. That game I was cracking skulls, by the way. Like, what? I played such a ju an annoying jungle matchup, and enemy Zoe was on my ass all game. I was mega smurfing that Currently game. Currently played jungle champions on Excel, and instead pipped it. Two levels up, okay? Two levels up. Just say it, say it, chat, say it with me. Two levels up, Excel, say it. And instead pivoted towards a person who was a personality, had an on-screen presence that wasn't just a player cam, and broke down games from the perspective of a former professional player. In fact, that last part is one of the four major factors I've concluded to be behind Cadrill's immense popularity and deserved success, so let's talk oh, about Oh, my that Zed! First. My now, Zed! Cadrill I was crazy on Zed! The first person successfully transferred from player to the analyst desk, because after all, oh, my Zed. Fischio, for example, who became a broadcast staple after completing his professional career. Where these two differentiate, however, is while Officio would ultimately opt to take a more managerial role such as his position in Misfits Gaming, Cadrill opts to grow his brand as an individual by focusing on his career as a content creator. Cadrill's ability to- I'm gonna be honest, it wasn't about growing my brand. I didn't really care about that. I just loved streaming and um, to be honest, I didn't really have any free time or didn't really have many friends. So all I would do is just stream like and it was fun. I don't know. It sounds parasocial of me to say this, but like, if you don't have friends, watching streams is one thing, but also streaming is the same thing. Bro, I'll just fucking stream. It's not like in a bad thing. It's not like aware moment, you know? It's not like I felt bad about it or anything. I had, I had a couple friends, you know, but like, um, you know, I, I didn't want to go out much. I just wanted to fucking, I just wanted to. Stop saying same hoodie, shut up. Simply break down concepts from a professional player's perspective was a unique skill that he brought to the desk, which pleased fans so much that he was ultimately brought on to cast the LEC in 2021 after parting ways with XL. We saw the animation of a TF red card up here in top lane, so I'd love to see the replay of that cancel. You do have a lot of experience with cancels, so we'll see if we can get it back up for you, Kajor. How did you find that? Though? But even outside of producing content as a contracted caster, Cadrill grew his unique perspective across YouTube and Twitch, captivating viewers, including myself, with his immensely high game knowledge and inside perspective that couldn't be offered by many others. In the early days of his channel... Yeah, true. Early days Cadrill... I don't know why I'm making a presentation with that much text. Early days Cadrill, I made presentations on how to play the game at a high level. <laughs> I was like, fuck, I need to make content. What is not people not doing? I'll just use scrim content. I was like, what did, what could I do? I was like, oh, maybe I'll just teach people pro player terms and they probably don't know. Channel rather than his current co stream commentary, Cadrill instead gave many presentations and breakdowns around concepts that had occurred in games that fans had just watched in the previous 24 hours or you so. Changed. Essentially, if someone nah. wanted to know how a team threw a lead, threw their advantage, or outdrafted their just, opponents, uh, Cadrill, who was someone who was on the broadcast, I don't think I changed from doing that stuff. I think I just like said it a lot during the co streams. I think co streaming changed that content because before that, I didn't do co streams. I just had like um, pre-recorded content 
But when I did co-streams, I would explain it during the co-stream rather than make a fucking presentation about it. said games could explain it for them on his own shortly afterwards in a way that actually my made sense hair. and would help develop their overall understanding of the game. He my became a hair. trusted source for fans of League Esports to have their questions about pro play answered from an actual pro player. Though initially as a professional... Mickey replied. He said Nautilus wins. Suck my cock chat! Shut up! Player Cajal wasn't a fan of being in front of the camera, one of his biggest features that would ultimately grow him as a face in the league scene would be his immensely passionate personality. In his initial videos as a content creator and even on stream, Cajal began with generally more reserved, thoughtful mannerisms. Mickey said, I said, yo Mickey, who wins Nautilus vs Fresh? He says Nautilus wins, but it's not dependent on support, it depends on AD. Fresh is fine, depending on draft, he can push. That's what he said. Which, while appealing to some, didn't necessarily... Bro, if the Nautilus had Varus that game, it was one. Time. However, operating under the assumption that these reservations were a result of nerves, as Cato began to become more entertainingly expressive, naturally, he became much more appealing to a broader audience. After all, who creates a rap video about an obsession with an LPL top laner, or gives so many chef's kisses to the point that it feels like watching Amarant stream, or does whatever what? this is? What is that? <laughs> And while this increased what expressiveness is that? may make it seem That's as if the content what? would suffer what? within its quality, it actually just made it better and more popular. What is wrong with me? And even to those who aren't necessarily too interested in the professional scene of League, it's still entertaining to watch a streamer hurdle his couch, bounce his chair frequently, or react in ways that are, in reality, hard for some to publicly share. Drawing in more fans enticed by this more exaggerated <laughs> behavior, k following have adopted similar habits of being a little bit of gremlins from time to time, spreading even into the more mainstream League sphere, which of course will ultimately point viewers back to Cadrill. And in fact, all this only furthers the narrative that Cadrill's content is an approachable option for the average player who wants to have their favorite team's gameplay broken down as discussed previously. And one thing that's further enabled these over-the-top reactions and therefore Cadrill's success is his incredibly popular Clips channel, capturing these viral moments while entering Clips. his name into the market of Clips short classic. content. After beginning uploading on his Clips channel on October 26, 2021, Cadrill now officially had consistently uploading landing pages for people to find the three major forms Bro, of video clips content. These, a clips a Twitch just became the meta. Live streams, a YouTube page for more informative, long form, but still engaging content, and now a clips channel. Oh man, I miss Mario Kart. Yo, chat, I brought the Switch. I brought the Switch. I brought the Switch. We got Mario Kart. If it's Adaptability it's set it up. has been something Cadrill has especially succeeded in outside of his multiple channels, as his forms of creating content have varied throughout the last few years I was such while a still bad remaining actor. around the same premise. While his casting career was initially what promoted him into oh my the public God, eye, I don't look and myself was, crying. of course, something really enjoyed doing during that's so Worlds weird 2023 Cadrill announced that he would be retiring from casting games and instead become an officially partner co-streamer i think that's the only time i ever if cried we on stream focus on this move solely from the content viewing perspective so weird to consumer, cry on stream this decision was so fucking, to put like, lightly, an absolute win for Cadrill and his rat fan base viewership on rat his fan. main channel videos went from an impressive 100,000 or so views a video to doubling to around 200,000 views on average with some videos hitting numbers such as 400,000 600,000 and the series between t one and JEG having over 1 million views. And a lot of the success of this adaptation from Cadrill can of course be accredited to his excessive fanboying of the shy, once again reiterating What's the importance of this personality and following fan plenty boying. of clips for his short form content audience to enjoy. But even since Worlds has concluded, his content KDF has maintained Pungion. higher viewership than it did previously and the rate at which it's being released is nothing short of impressive. Cadrill's editors and thumbnail designers are so fast at their jobs and as an editor They're and video jail, producer bro. myself, I have nothing but immense respect to his team, which has been second to none in their efforts. And as for Cadrill himself, his diligence is the sole reason that this content is even able to be produced Although, so quickly and so frequently. The, the, today, the editor, uh, the editor went in to get some surgery, so I don't think he's going to make the video today, so... Video for T1 might be a bit late. ...in the first place. Having been wish a the editor luck. player for years before entering the... Look at my stats, man! Holy fuck! I was crazy, man! I was crazy and so frequently in the first place. And that was after six games! Having been a professional player for years before entering the content game, Cadrill is no stranger to the grind it takes to get to the top, and with this year promising even more content than ever, he and his team show no signs of slowing down. And even as of writing this video, Cadrill has even just been signed to Fnatic as a content creator, granting him the ability to co-stream the LEC on top of his already planned streams of the LCK and LPL. Cadrill what? truly is what a- What am I doing with that water bottle? One in a million person with this level- I swear, I'm so fucking like, I swear, I have so much like. 
brain rot that I have to chew or touch something while I'm nervous. Level of grind, determination, and pure passion for sell out Cadrill. What the, the fuck? Yeah. Personality that really channels the inner feelings we all have sometimes as League players. Yet at the same time, his execution of his content is informative, brilliant, and ahead of the curve. And of course, has led him to previously. Oh, I thought I was taking a piss then. What the fuck? Deserve success. And if you'd like to support me as a small content creator, subscription would of course be greatly appreciated. And feel free to let me know if there are any elements you think I may have missed in my analysis, or if you want to keep posting on all the amazing content I have lined up for this year feel free to hang out with me on that was my a good socials, video which are all linked down below but yeah with that being said that was have a good a great video rest of your day or night take care and as always I'll catch you guys in the next video oh, here's the video chat they're feeling good like or a view how do I fucking how do I link this there you go chat there's the video if you want to give it a like or a view give him some support he's a small creator he only has 400 viewers on the video. Yo, chat, let's get him to at least 1k viewers. At least. Let's get him to at least 2k. 2K 1, 1, 2k viewers. Come on. Small creator. What? Ban the spammer. What? Thanks for the video, man. I appreciate it. Hope you can grow content. That was really nice of him to make a video about us.